All right, guys. Today, so we're gonna work on your osodoi and so. Okay, one more time. Okay, this is a backwards throw. Okay, also the way. So one of the foot techniques. And you know, so you're, you're supposed to finish your throw by sweeping, sweeping a leg. So you can just imagine. You're finding someone in front of you and you hook the leg and sweep all the way. Right? Sweep the you know, sweep your leg all the way through. So some, you know, this is a bad example. Okay, this is a common mistake. You know, a lot of people stop their leg here. Again. Like this. So if you stop your leg here, so you can't finish your throw, right? So you have to finish, you have to reap the leg all the way. Sweep the leg all the way. That's uh, also the guy. Yes. Okay, let's work on, okay, step by step. So let's work on the steps first. So I wanna say, also the guy, you know, it takes only two steps. One and finish. Again. One and throw. So two steps. But before that, so let's uh, let me break it down. So for the first step, okay. So the, for the first step, it's important to bend your knee, your left knee, uh, left yeah, your left knee, I guess. Okay. As a step, you're gonna step forward. Okay. You are going to step forward. So this is another common mistake, like this, okay? Like, uh, uh, like you know, like lifting your leg, lifting your leg diagonally, diagonal, this way. This is not good. You want to get in straight and finish, finish your throw just right here. Okay, one more time. The first step, so put your left foot forward, straight. Coming straight, stepping straight, and make sure your knees bent. Okay, so one, and the next step. So you're gonna bring your knee first. Okay, so one, bring your knee and straight your leg. Again, so one, two, like this. So. Bring your knee first. Knee comes first, okay? Your knee comes first. And let's keep your to the toes straight, okay? Not this way, but toes straight. Uh huh, toes straight. So again, so you gotta get in straight. Straight forward, okay? Straight forward. Do not get in diagonal. Okay, get in straight. So, like one, two. So one, two. Okay. Let's take two steps. Okay. Let's take two steps first. Okay. Again. So one. Knee is bent. Two. Okay. Again. One. Two. Mm -hmm. So you, your knee comes first and straight the leg. Like, like this. One, two. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, ten times. Get ready. Ten times. So one, two. Okay, step up. One, two. Step up. One, two. Out. One, two. Step out. One, two. Step out. One, two. Step out. One, two. Okay, step out. Last one. One and two. Okay, good. And, okay, so now, <clears throat> so from here, you're gonna sweep. And as you, as you sweep your leg, 
bend your back at the same time. It's gonna be look like this. So here, one and two. Okay, again. So here to here. You can bend your back as you finish your throw. Okay, bend your back. But uh, you know, as you get in, as you come in, keep your back straight. Okay, keep your back straight. Keep your back straight. And as you finish your throws. <laughs> Bend your back. Technically, like, you know, use your core muscle here. Use your core muscle. This muscle here to sweep. <coughs> like this. Fast. Mm -hmm. So now let's start from this position. Like here, one, two, three, like this. So you can use the wall, you can put your, you know, you can put your right hand on the wall or, you know, you don't need anything, you can, you can keep your balance from here, one, two, like this, mm -hmm. okay, ready, okay, lift up your leg, okay, go, one, reset, two, reset, three, keep going, four, Sweep all the way through. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, good. Yes, yes, yes. All the way. Yes, all the way. And you're supposed to sweep. Okay, reap the leg behind the knee. Okay. As you go like this, you know, this part. And, you know, my opponents, like uh, the same part, touch each other behind the knee. Behind the knee. You're gonna sweep behind his knee and sweep all the way. Sweep all the way. So, sweep all the way. Mm -hmm. And now, okay. So let's try, let's go, like, taking two steps, okay, so now, so we took three steps, one, two, and three, again, so one, two, three, but now, so we're gonna take only two steps, so that means, as you step, okay, as you step, so lift up the other leg, okay, like this, one, again, as you step, so lift up, gentle leg, same time, one, okay, just one step, one step, mm-hmm, now it's not okay, no more, like one, two, three, okay, no more three steps, not one, two, three, so if you take three steps in the, you know, in the real, in the situation, it's gonna be too slow. Okay, so again, step and <coughs> kick the other leg up at the same time. Okay, one step. Okay, just one. One, just one. Again, as you step, bend your knee, right? Bend your knee for the first step. And lift up the other, other leg. So we're gonna practice this. Okay, so you're not you're not gonna you know sweep, but we're going to focus on this part, the first part. Okay, let's one step out here, one just step one. Then okay for the first step, step strong, step strong, step strong. Okay, step strong, burn. Yes, mm -hmm. make sure your back straight. Okay, do not bend your back for the first first step. If you bend your back, it's not gonna work. Back straight, okay? Back, keep your back straight. So now again, here, okay, we'll just one. One. Okay, we're gonna do this 10 times. Okay, we're gonna, so we're gonna practice this move. 10 times. Ready, okay, relax first, okay? Relax. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready, go, one. Okay, step out, relax, relax, two. Okay, step out, 
relax, three, okay, relax, four, relax, five, let's go two going, six, seven, eight, nine, one step, one step, one step, ten, okay, good, 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 yes, only one step, Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. So, questions so far? Any questions so far? Okay, good, good, good. So, let's go. Uh, I want you to get used to this move. So, now your hands, you know, the way to use your hands. So, there's a lot of, actually, you know, there's a lot of ways in using your hands for Osodogai. But my way is. You know, my left hand, you know, the sleeve hand, you know, right? I'm right handed, I, I grip the sleeve. And for Osodogari, I will say it's, it's good, it's good to grip a little deep, you know, a uh, little deeper than uh, like usual, normal. Here, not, not here, but grip like uh, at the elbow, on the elbow, right here. This is like kind of too shallow, but this is too too high but grip like on the on the elbow okay grip on the elbow mm -hmm. right and my sleeve hand I pull as a step pull just sideways okay not pulling up not pulling towards you not pushing away you know not pulling down but pull sideways pull sideways here to here like this <coughs> Sideways. My elbow goes side, uh, sideways. Here, my elbow goes like sideways. Here to here. Like this. Little, uh, let's see. My elbow comes little up like this. Okay. Okay, little up. This is too much. Okay. And not down, but sideways. Sideways. Okay. Sideways. So if I pull sideways, okay, so what, you know, what, what is going to happen is I pull sideways. So I can make my, my opponent's off balance sideways this way. So get your, you know, get your partner's off balance this way, sideways, by pulling, pull to get them off balance this way. So now I'm on one leg. So there's no way to resist. If I poke, if I sweep the leg, there's no way to, to, res uh, to resist. So uh, kuzush means, you know, getting them off balance. Okay, pull to get them off balance, right? So to break their balance by pulling your left hand sideways. And this is too far, okay? Like this. This is uh, too far. Almost like, like here to here, like this. And I want to make a chest to chest. You know, my chest to my opponent's chest. Like one chest, not the whole contact. Not whole chest to chest, but this side and my opponent's this side. So, like chest to chest to get in close. Pull your left hand sideways to get them off balance sideways, right? And so my right hand, my right hand, so I pull first. I pull this way, here to here, like this, like this, like this. The same time I, <clears throat> I bring my, my opponents to me, again, here to here, like this. Here to here, here to here, like this. I pull and chest to chest here, <coughs> chest to chest. And when I finish my throw, I push my opponents down like this to finish. You know. So what's important for this technique is using a hat. You know, also togari is one of the foot techniques, right? This is a foot technique. But 
So the most importantly, you gotta use your hands. Otherwise, it's not gonna work at all. So Paul, to get them off balance for Kuzush, pull your left hand sideways, quick, of course. Snap, pull, snap. To get them off balance, oh, sideways. And pull, okay, bring your opponent to you <coughs> by pulling. Bring the opponent to you, like this, like this, okay? And as you finish, sweep the leg and push his body down with the right hand. Push it down <coughs> with the right hand to boom, finish your throw, okay? It's kind of it's complicated to use your hands, okay, differently. Your left hand goes sideways. My elbow goes sideways, right? This way to 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 break the balance. Sideways, like this. Here, this. this. Uh -huh. My elbow goes sideways, and my right hand again. I pull as it get in. I pull, pull to me, and my elbow comes to my body, like this. If you know your arm is straight, you know it's too hard to push him down from this position. But if I bring my elbow to me, now I can use my hands <coughs> strong. Okay, this this way power doesn't come in this way. But if you bring your elbow to to me to you, so now you can push it really, really strong. So make sure you pull and bring the elbow to you. So now the power comes from here to push, push him down, push them down to finish your throw. Here and <coughs> push. All right. Okay. Any questions so far? All right. So now let's practice your left hand. Okay. Your uh, hikite hand. Your pulling hand is called hikite. In judo, okay. We're gonna work on your hikite, hikite hand. So here to here, this here to here. <coughs> sideways, sideways. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Just ten times. Let's get used to it. Okay, get used to it. Okay, here again. So this is a very important. Many people don't focus on using their hands. Okay, so you have to use your hands to to make you, uh, your technique work, okay? Ready? So left, only left hand, only left hand, okay? Uh, okay, so here, like, as you step and pull, here, here to here, like this. Okay, ready? So pull, snap, you know, pull fast as you can. Go one, okay, step out. Okay, two, step out, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now your right hand, okay, your right hand. So only your right hand, I guess. Here to here. Like this. Like this. Okay, again. Here to ah. Uh, so here to here. All right, so ready, uh, only right hand. Go one, bring your elbow to you, okay? Bend your knee, I mean bend your elbow, and bring it to you. Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, last one, ten. Okay, relax, relax, relax. Mm -hmm. Yes. So now, okay, we're gonna combine your left hand and your right hand at the same time. At the same time. Pull sideways to get them off balance. Get them, right? Off balance, sideways. And your right hand, bring them. Bring your opponents to you. To you, right? So only this motion. Only this move. Again, your left hand, okay, your left hand, 
doesn't go far away, not like this. Okay? Your, your left hand doesn't go far like this. But pull just straight, like sideways, sideways. Not out, okay? Not out there, but here, that way. Okay, 10 times, ready? Only your hand, like this, like this, one, okay? Ready, go, one, okay? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Okay, good, 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 good. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, just keep that in mind. Okay, your left hand goes sideways, your right hand comes to you, and making a chest to chest. And okay, hook the leg and sweep all the way. As you finish here, now you're gonna use your right hand to push them down, push their body down. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now. So let's work on the finish, the finishing part. So after you get in, so now there's two ways to finish. Okay, there's two ways to finish your throw with osotogai. So for me, my first option is I use the whole arm. You know, this part. I use this part. Okay, this part, and you know, this part touches his body, his chest, his chest. Like this. And I push the body down like this. With this part, the forearm. Okay? And another way, you're gonna use kind of your your fist. Your fist. And I sweep and push them down with your fist like this. So there's two ways. Mm -hmm. I use both. Depends on. Situations, okay. Depends on situations. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can use the forearm to push the body down as you finish, or you can use the only, you know, the fist to push the body down like this. Uh -huh. Sometimes, you know, the the forearms is on on the chest. Sometimes my forearm is off the chest, but my fist on the on the body on the chest and push. Okay, you know what I mean? Like here. So, uh, but let's. Okay, we're gonna practice the first one. You're going to use the whole arm. Okay, this part. Okay, you're gonna use this part to push the body down like this. Okay. So it's gonna be look like this here one. You know, my elbow is down here, and finish. Okay, again. So one and two. Okay, <clears throat> push them down. Push the body down with the right hand. The forearm, use the forearm to push them down. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, just think about it. You know, if you don't use your right hand, so what happens? If you don't use your right hand to finish, so what's happened here? This is a common bad mistake like this. Okay, I'm not I'm not using my right hand, so I can't finish my throw. So to finish your throw, you gotta use your right hand. Push them down. Okay, so now we're gonna work on this again. Okay, here one and two like this. Push them down with the right hand, the forearm. Ready. Go, one and finish. Okay, step out. Go, one and finish. Step out. Go, one and finish. Yes. Step out. Okay, one and finish. Step out. Five more times. One and finish. Okay, step out. Go oh, one and finish. Step out two more times. One and finish. 
Step out. Last one. One. Go. Finish. Yes. Nice. 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 Again, you know the most the most importantly, you have to use your hands to finish your throw. Okay. You have you have to use your hands. Okay. Hey guys. Now maybe the last exercise. Okay. The last one. So uh, we're gonna put all the moves into one motion. You know, we practiced how, how you get in, and how to sweep, and how to pull, I mean, how to use the hands, you know, your left hand and right hand. We're gonna put all the moves into one, you know, one motion. So it's gonna be like one and two. And as you finish, okay, use the core muscle. Here to here to like this. Okay, use the core muscle to finish. Okay, so 10 times. Okay, 10 times. Use your hands, use your legs, use your core, core muscles, everything. Ready, reset. Okay, re relax, relax. Okay, relax. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't think too much. Okay, don't think too much. Let's try. Okay, feel it. Okay, ready. So let's imagine your opponent standing in front of you. And grip. Okay, lapel and the sweep, grip, judo grip, okay, just keep picturing in your head, okay, ready, go, one, yes, reset, and again, grip, two, yes, reset, three, mm -hmm. reset, Okay, four. Reset. Five. Reset. Six. Reset. Seven. Reset. Eight. Two more. Nine. Last one. Ten. Yes. Yes, good. Nice. Good job. Okay, good job. Osotogari. Yes, it's called Oso. Yes, one of my favorite throws. Okay, good work. So we are done today. And tomorrow we're going to work on our legs. Okay. We're gonna work on our legs. I always get, you know, sore muscle after, you know, after this. So uh, again, we're gonna do uh, a lot of legs tomorrow, and so I'm planning to do uh, like a team workout in two weeks outside at the park. <laughs>